Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cypher Sounds, currently employed here at Hot 97. Thank you very much. You can see the logo there. Um, I am Puerto Rican on a morning show, black, Puerto Rican, and Jew. Puerto the black and the Jew didn't show up because we're uh, interviewing a nice Puerto Rican gentleman. That's racist. We're going to deal with that in a little while. It is time for things Puerto Ricans don't care about. Special version today, we got actor, poet, playwright, Lemon, the Boricua sensation with us. Lemon, what's good? What's good? Mama. Lemon, listen. We're going to go over some news topics. Okay. And you tell us if you care or not. Number one, Kim Kardashian's mom confirms that Kim's new bling from Kanye is definitely not an engagement ring. She said, I would know about it if they were engaged. Do Puerto Ricans care about that? No. Why? Because Kim Kardashian is Puerto Rican and she don't represent no more. That's why. She's I'm mad at her. Yes, yeah, she's Puerto Rican. She's Puerto Rican. She's Shh. fronting. She's from another island somewhere. She's lying to everybody. She's she Puerto Rican. She looks like Nancy, you know, from the fourth floor. <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to say Cookie, because that's no. a real Puerto Rican name. No, you, it's you, me, Cookie. <laughs> cookie is really a man. Uh, Stephen A. Smith accidentally dropped the N-bomb on ESPN while discussing Kobe Bryant's injury. Reportedly, he said opening night, Kobe Bryant is going to miss it because my foot is spraying. Are you crazy? N-word, please. Do Puerto Ricans care about that? No. Here's why. Because Stephen A. Smith is one of us. He's down by law. Mm -hmm. We love his rant and his raves. And we need to have more people like that or more, you know, announcers like that. So we don't really care if someone gives him flack about it. He can say Ooh. whatever he wants. Oh, okay, so you're on his right. side. I'm on his side. Yeah, I'm on Boom. his side. He's allowed to drop that word. It's up to the, the, the network to, to censor it, but it's on him. Stephen A. Smith is a good guy. I know what he does. How do you feel about Puerto Ricans saying the N-word? I think blacks gave us the right to do it. In New so York. So we got the pass. In New I York. I go out of town and I get looked at kind of funny. I don't use, I use the, the right N-word. I don't use the wrong N-word. Oh, you use the right one. Well, yeah. I use the, the, the one that blacks allow me to say. Mm. As a Puerto Rican... I got a pass. With the, ah. Well, I got the African, you know, I got Africa in my blood. Mm. I know where I come from. I know the kind of, I know what my drums are made out of. I know what my congas are made out of, the yeah. African drums. Yeah, but. And that's for my people. I'm not speaking for Southern Latinos. I'm speaking for Caribbean Latinos. Right. Afrocentric Latinos. So growing up being with, you know, in a black community, if you call me the N-word and I call you the N-word back, you know, then, and you, you find no animosity in it, then not, we're speaking about two different N-words here. Mm -hmm. We're not speaking about the historically, you know, downgrading N-word. We're speaking about the family from the street N-word. Yes. You know, the one with the two Gs That's in the it. one I use. And the A. Yeah. The ah. The ah. Not the er. I mean, you know, it's... it's Don't use the er, It's like, but to me, it's like witch and witch. You know, there's a witch that's on a broom mm -hmm. and, and flies over the moon, right? That's a witch. And then, you know, which one of us are going to... You know, by the beard. Which and which. So that's how I use it. Jessica Beale is taking Justin Timberlake's last name. Uh, you better address her now as Jessica Timberlake, but her professional name will remain the same. Do Puerto Ricans care about this? Yeah, Puerto Ricans care because according to um, all the Puerto Rican girls I know in New York, they are so mad that they lost their one white boy in the game. Right. So they, that's their one. If you talk to any Puerto Rican girl, they'll be like, I won't, I'm not really into white boys, but I like Justin Timberlake. Right. So they can't stand her, and they do care, because the last thing they want is for her to take his last name now. He's Believe gone. Me, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in there every day, and at every barbecue on Sunday, that's the only white boy they care to sleep with. Mm. It's Justin Timberlake. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, things Puerto Ricans don't care about. I first met Lemon at, a <laughs> at the, um, I was DJing the Deaf Poetry Jam and uh, with, for Russell Simmons. Yeah. And uh, you came out and did, did the, I'm sure you did a couple poems, but you did the classic Puerto Rican one that I love. Like, right, yeah. that's, is, that like your, is that like your most famous poem, you think? Or do you have like a most? I got a, a couple. Famous? I get requests here and there, but you know, that's the, I, I always do that piece everywhere I go, no matter yeah. how much, you know, how long it's been. Is that That's one piece that always stays in the set, so. Yeah, it's classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's I seen it. I did a comedy show in the Bronx for Hispanic Heritage Month, and I seen this singer named Flacco. He was doing a couple songs, and then I walked away, and then I came back, and I heard him doing that poem. And I was like, yo, that's <laughs> Lemon's poem. And then I was like, oh, maybe he's. 
yeah. paying respect to Lemon or how does that how does that work with if well, someone else is like did he do like a cover? No, you know what I'm saying? in a way, I, I kind of wrote the piece with Flacco in mind. We went on tour together on the second Deaf Poetry tour, and they allowed uh, me to bring a homie with me, right. which was kind of cool. So I brought Flacco, and I wrote the piece kind of with him. And oh, I wrote okay. it. I basically wrote it. You know, that's my piece. But he always does it. You know, he stopped writing poetry, even though he's like a poet in a way. But yeah. He just always reads that piece. He makes uh, it. He has the green light and the license to do it anytime he wants. I hate to put you on the spot, but right. give the people something. Give me something that I could... Show what you do. Uh, deep down, there's an old man river, blue denim flow. Martha's Vinnie, a stepchild, rusty picket fence glow, desert sand to a black beach bringer, ghetto Shakespearean clown, little shop a horror fanatic, daydreaming of white girls from Skid Row with black eyes singing downtown. New Eureka in exile, frozen Japan kicks, Jordan stays stacked next to a collection of homies locked up, posing for Polaroid flicks, suffering from visions of grandeur, sucking the success out of pain, staring at dirty napkins, seeing the art in a coffee stain. Uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Lemon. Watch the PBS documentary, buy the DVD, go to the uh, Brooklyn Stories, and how they find you? They can find me on... I like Instagram, Lemon Poet NYC. You can see it all from there, man. I stay taking pics of my life. So Instagram, Lemon Poet NYC.